This thing is going to come alive and kill me. Oh, okay. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here, and this is the Invincible. This is a new, this is just a demo, an early demo for the game, the Invincible coming out later this year. I am so excited to jump in here and play this with you guys. So, you know, Star Wars Industries reached out and said, hey, would you like to play an early, you know, demo of the game? And I said, of course I would. I've been waiting for this game for like two years now, you guys. It is coming later this year, and oh, I can't wait. I, I played a little bit of it. This game is going to be pretty epic, you guys. So we're going to jump into a brand new game. I want you guys to see the beginning of the demo, the demo. That way you guys can get a taste of what the Invincible is. I will say right up front, it is very similar to Firewatch, if you ever, ever played Firewatch. Welcome to the Invincible Demo. It takes place early in the game, shortly after the very beginning. But do not worry. On the following screen, you'll see a brief recap of previous events. Please keep in mind that the demo does not represent the final quality of the game. We are still working hard to improve it, fixing bugs and enhancing the performance. Now let's dive into the world of the Invincible. Uh, you are an astrobiologist named Yasna, a crew member of the Dragonfly, a small research vessel. At the start of the game, Yasna woke, woke up in full space gear, stuck on an alien planet with no recollection of how or why she got there. Checking her equipment, she discovers that her radio receiver is broken, thus she has no contact with the rest of the crew, but suspects they can still hear her. Based on her own journal entries, she is close to the proximity of her camp. As Yasna heads towards their destination, her memories of the last mission slowly return. However, she remains unaware of why she lost her consciousness and memory. So she does not know what's going on here, you guys. We have no idea. But look at how gorgeous this game is. And yeah, it is very, very similar to Firewatch. So it's more of a story driven. It's not, there's some action in it, but it's not action focused. You're basically going around collecting things and trying to figure out what happened. Not everyone's in the field. And if you guys did not know, The Invincible is a book that was written way back in the 60s. And so. It's a sci-fi book out of that era, and if you've seen any of like the old like 1950s, 1960s uh, sci-fi movies with like ray guns and flying saucers, that is what this is all about. You know, you can see tape decks being used. Uh, computers are like really old, like using DOS. It is, this is Dr. Yes really cool. Reporting. Do you copy? Yeah, no one can hear. I'm entering the campgrounds. Nobody can hear you, Asna. But yeah, it is so... I mean, look how gorgeous this game looks. This is, is amazing. Is anybody out there? Oh. An Androbot? Androbot. I'm, I'm always nervous about this. Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide to people. Androbot, locate human. Never Damn. trust it. These robots? Nope, you don't want to mess with- See, I'm always afraid these robots are going to murder me. I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Oh. Maybe. Artie, default position. No. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy. But you clearly don't want to cooperate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just stopped. Why? What? It just stopped when I started talking to it. What the heck is going on here? Okay. Yeah, it's just powered down. Commonwealth Industries. All right. So yeah, we're supposed to be looking for people, but we had. Oh, here's our scope. Where is it at? We have our radar. So that is your radar. And as you can see, I have one dot here for my robot, but there's another dot in here. What the heck is going on in here? There's a person in here? A body, maybe? Oh, no, this guy's crazy. Okay. Dr. Krauter, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? <laughs> This guy's crazy. He's lost his mind. He's gonna murder us. Please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. 
Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Krauter is in a serious condition. Oh, let's just take his radio. Look at that. It's just... Take it. Yeah, look at I love that this is like... You can see his oxygen tube feeding into his backpack and also his radio Excuse me. connector right here. That's so good. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. What? The transmitter is still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. Okay. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Okay, yeah, this guy's definitely messed up. He's mentally just lost it. He, his brain is broken. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, doctor. Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders, and there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary, something's very wrong with him. And I can't tell what, which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hop along. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Three more people. Okay, so we're finding slowly, we're finding all the crew. Holy crap. Find the mission log. I'm assuming it's going to be in here. Let's go. No. What is this? Metal detector. A uh, physics book. A lamp. I should take the lamp. Come on. Okay, we take this, Dr. Crowder. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowder kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? So we have excavations area. Okay, then we have Gorski. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. Gotta get a metal detector. And then landing. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Nothing around here? Okay. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Okay, that is a weird metal <gasps> detector. Got it! Please make sure it works. Okay, does it? I'm assuming the green things are metal. Pumps? Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Okay, so metal detector works. Can I take this now? No? No? I, I guess we're out of here. This looks too flimsy. Like this fabric. Oh my god, I'd be so terrified that the wind would open up these doors and I would die going outside because there's no atmosphere. I mean, there is because I can see the wind. But maybe it's poisonous? I don't know. All right. 
Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? Must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. Not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Oh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Oh, okay. I've got bad news. Oh, uh, yeah. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Okay, we gotta find a spare relay. Can I get in here? Nope. In this box? In here? Extra relay. Oh, there's a lot Excellent. of extra relays. Okay. Be back as soon as it's turned on. Where do I? Okay. Where do I set this thing up at? That was totally lucky. I was gonna look for this one too. What is in this one? It looks like. Hey, this looks like water and stuff. Take all of that. What is wrong with you, Yes? Now you need that water. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing they want me to put it right here. Ooh, yeah. There you go. This game looks amazing. I love the look of this game. Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Is it gonna work? We'll see. This I thing is gonna, gonna come at me. That should help. Good, good. Receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Andrew bot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. Repository brain has direct readings. Receptors. Hmm. This thing is gonna come alive and kill me. Oh! Okay. Oh, it, it, it worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. He's not. Well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, tin bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go get the rest while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. He's not moving. Okay. Maybe he did good. I don't even know. Check this tent. What is in here? It feels like I can't pick up any other supplies. You'd think she would have picked up the water and stuff back there. Nothing? A fish? Fascinating. What? Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. I remember something. I wonder what caused her to have like her amnesia. She can't remember anything. Oh, there it goes. All right. Well, the metal detector. There's metal in the ground. Okay. We have our scope here. Oh, you can actually zoom? Wait a minute. Distance? Oh my god, look at this. You have to like really dial it in. Oh my god, that is awesome. And you can zoom in and just slowly dial it in. That is awesome, okay. That is a real scope there. No other people around here? All right, let's go find the other crew. Or 
see how the crew gonna be out. It's getting cold. There's another receiver. Is there anyone else in here? I don't see anybody. Okay. Oh. Finally, it works. What? Crowter, fine meters. Careful. Okay. Excavation site. Let's go this way. What is this? It's getting kind of crazy in here. Have a flashlight? Oh, it's getting cold. I'm starting to freeze. Oh, but there's water. Great. That's even better. Thankfully, I have my suit on. I don't see anything out there. Okay. I guess we are going this way. Oh, warm up, warm up, he has to. Oh yeah, we're getting in the cold spots. Okay, this is really I cold. Found the area marked by Doctor Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? I don't even know. Entry point, 50 meters. What? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. I feel like I need to go over here. This should be where the crew is, right? Yeah, down here. Oh, come on, warm up. This looks real scary. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? What oh, is that? Right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds. Oh. Someone. I'm following the signal. Someone over here? Uh oh. Something on the ground. Let's go check out the metal first. What is this? It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. There's something down there. Okay, they they set up a computer or something down there. Let's go over here to the person, the movement. <sighs> Unknown. What is this? It's a journal. Uh oh. We must Geological focus on that. cross section measurements. Here's a Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Layers of sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance. Not geological, not planetary. Oh! Not planetary. That means it's alien. Uh oh. Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division, Solar System. Dear Dr. Mer Merritt, This is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion on the future expedition as an astro astrogator. Your skills, overall performance, and previous missions prove to us your readiness to take on the next steps in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you're back. Oh. So we need to get up there. 
I think I know where I can find her. Oh no, is she oh god, is she dead up there? Is like am I getting her body readings? Oh, don't tell me that. Let's get up here. Can I get up? There we go. Okay, it's just a backpack I was gonna say, oh no. The signal's coming from the castle of backpack. Concerning. Oh no. That's her. That's what you need to breathe. Oh crap. Oh no. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit. Marit. No! Are you serious? That's the end of it? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, my God. Well, I'm definitely going to be buying this. God. Are you serious? Oh, what's going on? I hear something. Oh, man. That was so good. Guys, hopefully you like that demo. If you did, hit the like button. And seriously. You can wishlist it right now on Steam. Go do that if you're interested. It is scheduled to come out 2023. There's no hard date yet, but I have a feeling we're going to hear about more of the Invincible coming soon. You know that the you know in the summertime in June, they do a lot of announcements. I'm not saying I know or anything like that, but it we're about to run into a whole bunch of announcements for a ton of games. I would be surprised if they don't announce something about the game coming soon, like in the next few months. So... Guys, this is such a good demo. Hopefully you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next time.